All right, hold on a second. <laughs> That's for the, uh, you know, the Mr. Freeman. photo banks. Yes. Mr. Freeman, congratulations. Thank on you so much. Orange County TV. So is there, as you look back on an illustrious career, is there a moment, a person, uh, a quote, a, a role, something that still to this day you look back on and say that's, that's what made the difference in my career? Well, I've been uh, a, a number, but uh, yes, uh, in 1986, I, I won uh, an audition for a movie called Street Smart. I played uh, a pimp. Movie didn't do all that well, but I got a nomination for it. <laughs> so, and uh, that, I have all my life wanted to be in the movies. Um, so when my career started to move along, it started on stage. So I was 20 some years on stage, about 20 of it on the New York stage. So um, all the time, every time I did a play, my friends would say, yeah, this is one that's going to take you to the coast. <laughs> but it wasn't until 1987 when Street Smart came out that I got to the coast. So that would have been the catalyst for me. That was, that's the one big boost. Morgan? Yeah. Over here. Congratulations. There you are. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Did you, do you really feel as an actor that you've never worked a day in your life? As an actor? No. No. Uh, acting has never, I've never considered it, felt like I was working. Rehearsing, kind of, simply because I remember doing uh, a, a little play in New York when we were doing what we call dungeon theater, that is you just find a basement somewhere or somebody's living room and uh, you put on somebody's play. And I remember going to rehearsal, we're gonna make $5 per performance, we're gonna do three performances and going to rehearsal in a snowstorm work. Yes, sir. Mr. Freeman, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Freeman, I don't know if you heard Octavia right Spencer's remarks. Mr. Freeman, Octavia Spencer was just back here and very eloquent about the importance of movies like The Help in educating uh, younger generations about the civil rights era and, and you know just elements of our history that, as she said, are, are painful at times to revisit. Can you comment on that and about the role, that I if you think that your films have played any role in, in sort of enlightening audiences about things like civil rights and discrimination? I could talk about it, but I wouldn't say anything interesting. <laughs> um, I think uh, when I was growing up, uh, uh, and I think it's still true, um, one of the more effective um, avenues for learning American history was movies. Uh, I was always a big reader when I was a kid, but then movies were, were, were they're so impacting. And I would like to think that uh, because of the tra 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 trajectory did I get it out? T-R-A-J-E-C-T-O-R-O-I. Uh, of my career that uh, I, I might have had a little s input in uh, some of um, America's uh, history and uh, some of the changes that have, have taken place uh, in our industry here in, in Hollywood. How was that for an answer? Morgan, huh? congratulations thank uh, over here. Thank, thank. Thank Congratulations. You. Well, you. very well deserved. Um, one of your first roles was on Another World. I was wondering if uh, what you thought about the death of the genre. Uh, soaps used to really portray minority characters uh, before After mainstream. After 100 years, I think it was probably <laughs> time to go. Really? <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, OK. Sir? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you don't need that thing. It's not working. Am I sir, going? Now no, you are. Sir, uh, now you are. Mr. Freeman, congratulations on your great career. Thank you. I want to ask you about that poker face, though, that you had when Helen Mirren was presenting to you, and she was just trying to get a laugh, or uh, she was tr cracking some jokes, and you were very serious. What was going through your mind while Ms. Mirren was presenting? She had no idea how chagrined I was. How chagrined? Yeah, that in, in all of my 
career, I never got a chance at her, just once. I've been a big fan of hers from the time she was doing Prime Suspect on English television. And uh, I've given anything to have a shot at her more than once. <laughs> She's an extraordinary actress, extraordinary. Sir, to your, to your right. Uh, oh, and I'm working on, I'm working on getting something for us to do. Mr. Yes, Mr. sir. It was such a sweet moment on stage between you and Sidney Poitier. Can you tell me, what did you two talk about backstage? What was it like to be up there with, with him, uh, have him be part of this uh, moment for you? Sidney Poitier represents my guiding beacon in life. Uh, when his career cranked up, uh, I was a teenager, and um, felt certain seeing him that that would be room for me. So I have always said to him and to the world at large that uh, most of us need something to guide ourselves, something to hang our hopes and dreams on. And Sydney has been my beacon, my guiding star. I always tell him that. I always make him understand that that's undying. And I am so honored that he thinks of me as a friend. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Thank you all very, very much.